Hi, this is Gregory Abston from the National Council on Laser Certification. So, you're thinking of taking one of the NCLC laser certification exams for yourself. In this short video, we'll summarize the types of laser certifications are available um, and the process to apply and take the examination and of course to qualify for them uh, to begin with. We'll talk about the differences between actual certifications versus um, training certificates versus state licensing requirements in those few states that have this. Now, you'll still need to go to the certification handbook and look at the details and download application forms, but this should get us started. First, let's differentiate between training certificates that you get for attending accredited training courses, the actual NCLC laser certifications that we're discussing here, and then state or governmental licensing that might be required in some states. They are all different. You can download an article on this subject from our lasertraining.org website. Uh, go to that site, scroll down the columns on the left to the FAQs, Frequently Asked Questions. Um, once you get there, scroll down, choose the article on questions on aesthetic laser use, credentialing, certification. Um, then as you read through that, click on the click here for the PDF copy of that article. Okay, here's where you go to get the certification applications and more information. Go to HTTPS lasercertification.org. There are several types of laser certifications available, including the aesthetic laser operator, which also includes uh, hair removal, then the more limited laser hair removal specialist and supervisor, a certified medical laser safety officer, and every practice needs a safety officer, and finally a certified laser repair technician. You'll find a set of quick instructions for the certifications on the website. It's kind of like a cliff notes that gets you going quickly, but you're still going to need to open the certification handbook. Um, so do that, and we're going to take a look at an example from the certified aesthetic uh, laser operator. There is a background requirement for age, uh, for um, nursing or medical or aesthetic experience in the field, um, perhaps medically related credentials like uh, RN, certified estheticians, etc. Uh, or there's some alternatives here to qualify for the test. Um, there is also, importantly, the requirement for documented laser training in order to qualify for the uh, taking the exam itself. Click on the tab on the left for application forms to find the various uh, uh, forms for the different laser certifications themselves. Click on the exam reviews in the left column to download the free review outlines for each type of uh, certification. Remember that these are not teaching materials. They are simply bullet point lists of the key points for questions on the test. They are very useful, but you must have had proper training first. There are also online practice exams available for these tests for a nominal fee. Click on the practice exams in the left column and complete the online form to register. We recommend thoroughly reviewing the re uh, written review outline several times first prior to purchasing an online practice exam. During the online practice, if you get an incorrect answer, the program shows you what the correct response should have been. Practice exams do not have exactly the same questions as the actual certification exams, but the specific content area is exactly the same. Once activated, you can take the practice exam an unlimited number of times for a 10-day period, so it's best to do this starting about two weeks prior to your exam date. Once your application and supporting documents are received and approved by the NCLC, you'll receive a notice of approval and we'll also copy our testing agency, ETA International, that you are qualified to schedule an exam with them. There are several options to take proctored exams anywhere in the world. Starting from the lasercertification.org website, let's look at these options. ETA International has proctors available at locations worldwide. Click on the exam locations, then scroll down to find an ETA proctor. That takes you to their page where you can scroll down and find proctor locations throughout the world. 
Here I'm entering in Indianapolis, Indiana, but you can type in any city and country. Do not contact proctors directly. When you schedule with ETA, you'll let them know your preference of a proctor and they'll put you in touch with them. Because of travel limitations that the COVID crisis imposed on everyone, ETA has also developed a way to provide secure, monitored, proctored examinations online so that you can take the exam from your own home or business, provided that you have a microphone and camera on your computer and meet their other security requirements. After your application is approved, you'll call or email ETA directly to schedule an examination with a proctor or online testing at your convenience. There are also a handful of select laser training programs around the world that have NCLC appointed proctors at their locations to, so that you may take exams at the end of a training program. You'll find these listed on the website by clicking on the affiliates and training link in the column to the left and then scrolling down through the list. Once you've completed your exam, the proctor will return the examination back to the NCLC and you'll be notified of your results, generally within about two weeks or less from the exam date. A passing score is 70%. If for some reason you don't pass the exam on your first attempt, you may submit an application for re-examination at any time, but there must be at least 30 days between your original exam and your re-examination date. Use the regular application for the desired certification, but at the bottom of the page, check mark that it is a retest. That way we can use the documents you submitted on your first application. Once you have achieved one of the NCLC laser certifications, you may display the NCLC logo on your promotional materials and website. Remember though that it's only for individuals and not a practice or business that is certified. Those individuals may display the NCLC laser certified phrase with their name as long as their certification is current. Your NCLC laser certification is active for a three year period from the date of issue. You'll find detailed information on this in the certification handbook. You'll need to submit your renewal application prior to its expiration and show evidence of continuing education of 24 hours or more in your field. It does not have to be specifically laser, but education in your profession. If you are a physician or nurse, then your continuing education hours that you use for relicensure can also be used for the NCLC. Similarly, aesthetic laser operators may use continuing education in anything that has to do with cosmetics aesthetics, and repair technicians may use ongoing training in any technology to renew. This simply shows that you are still active in your field. In some cases, individuals receive ongoing training in their practice or jobs, but don't have formal training certificates. A provision is made for this by obtaining a statement of continued competency by your medical director or supervisor. Um, this statement is attached to the renewal application form. Once you've obtained your NCLC laser certification, you'll be glad you did. Some states and countries are starting to require these certifications and other government agencies will eventually follow suit. It pays to be proactive with your certification. The immediate benefit though, is that you now have a professional credential that sets you apart from the rest.